This is a railroad crossing bell. This is the type of bell you would hear when the crossing arms go down in front of you on a road that crosses over a railroad. I picked the bell up relatively cheap and it is just set around my shop collecting dust and I thought now would be a good time to put it in service so that I could enjoy it. Now at one point of my thought process, I thought it might be cool to incorporate this into a doorbell on my shop. In case you didn't know, these bells operate on 12 volts and that's because the railroad companies thought it would be a great idea to give them in easy battery backup type system using 12 volt lead acid batteries. The overall condition of the bell wasn't in too bad of shape. In fact, really the only major problem was the bell itself was pretty rusty, so I took it through my sandblaster and I cleaned it up a little bit. I had some extra silverish powder coat, so I powder coated the bell and I put it in my oven. I baked it at 375 degrees for a good 15 minutes, and when it was done, it looked pretty decent. I knew in order to pull this off to work with my doorbell, I was going to need some place to store some components, and I had this fire alarm box, and I thought, wouldn't it be a great idea to stuff all of those components in this box? The first thing I did was I stripped off all of the original paint, and then I put it into a bath. I used electrolysis to pull off any of the rust. Now, inside, this box was pretty rusty. After a fresh coat of Rust-Oleum, it looks pretty good. The guts to this is a little more simple than it actually looks. The transformer is a standard doorbell transformer. I have it set to 16 volts AC and that's because I'm using a ring doorbell to activate this bell. The 12 volt power brick on the right is what actually powers the bell. And that little box in the bottom left corner, well, that is a timer. I have it set to five seconds so that when you press the doorbell, the big bell rings for five seconds. With the door closed, everything looks pretty cool. I have this really neat looking vintage firebox on display. And when you press the doorbell, well, the crossing bell sounds, letting you know that a train is on its way or, well, somebody's at your door.